is Diana Giselle, and you're watching A Watch TV. So today I have a special guest. I have DJ Nuera. How are you? Hello, I'm very well. Thanks for asking. So could you explain to the audience where the DJ Nuera name come about? Uh, the name originated from wearing Nuera fitted caps. Uh, mm -hmm. When I started DJing, I used to wear like several hats. And so somebody said your name should be DJ Fitted Cap, and I was like, nah, it's kind of whack. And it was like, how about DJ Nuera? So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take it and run with it. So took the name and ran with it, and then Nuera was born. So I just ran with it and started building, building, building relationships, and started taking over the industry, man, one day at a time. Okay, and I was reading that you were 10 years old when you decided you wanted to DJ. That's so who influenced you when you wanted to DJ? Well, uh, I was influenced by the Wu Tang Clan. Mm -hmm. That's, that was one of the uh, actual. Wu Tang Clan Forever the album. That's what really sparked me, my interest in hip hop. Uh -huh. And then uh, a guy by the name of DJ Jazzy Jeff, who I really admire. Oh, that's a good DJ. One of, one of my top favorite DJs who actually mix. And uh, DJ Kid Capri, by the way, was mm -hmm. a big influence on me. So if you hear any of my mixtapes, any, any of my parties, my style originated from those two main DJs, actual club DJs, not just mixtape. So you saying that's your type of style. So what makes you different from the other DJs, DJ New Era? Play, I play. I just don't play hip hop, man. I actually know how to mix. Oh. I don't. I don't, I don't use DJ controllers. Mm -hmm. I use Team Tractor all day. That's my brand. I run Technique Twelve Hundred. So I run CDJ Pioneer. So I consider myself an all around DJ that's just not subject to hip hop. Mm -hmm. I do pop, top forty, techno, dubstep, and I'm right now trying to break into that dubstep era because mm -hmm. that's where the hip hop is going to right now. You hear a lot of music being remixed to sound like actual techno music. Mm -hmm. And I've been having a tough time, but you know, you got to network and just be patient with it. Mm -hmm. So, who would you consider your biggest fan base? Since you do pop, you're just in the techno, hip hop, RB. Who would you well, consider your biggest fan base? Right now, my biggest fan base is more so hip hop because you know that. The Clubs I do are hip hop based, but like I said, I've been trying to get over into the pop era. Mm -hmm. And you have so many DJs out there now who are trying to get over in that market. So mm -hmm. it's really not based off how good you are anymore, it's based off who you know. That is true, that is very true. And I also was reading that you're the most underrated DJ. How do you feel about that? Uh, People be sleeping on me. Yeah, they, they sleep on me, but at the end of the day, hard work be talent. Uh huh. And so I just pray and claim my success and network. As you can see, I'm sitting here with you now, mm -hmm. just networking. And I think networking will take you farther than your skills. Because mm -hmm. you got to build and keep your relationships tight. So they can keep overlooking me, but at the end of the day, it's going to happen for me where I want that. Mm -hmm. When you were just staying to build and keep networks tight, how do you think or how do you feel social media is important in this new era, day and age? You gotta keep up with it. You gotta be on social media constantly. Mm -hmm. You gotta be reading up on your news. You gotta know what's the hottest song. You gotta know who's the biggest DJ out breaking this record. And it's most importantly, even if the DJ might not respond to you or the artist might not respond to you, always just keep trying. Because mm -hmm. the more you try, the door finally it open up. Right now. Mm -hmm. So you gotta stay up to date on your IG, your Twitter, your Facebook, and even your MySpace. That's that's mm -hmm. important. Man. Especially Facebook, you know, older people still use Facebook now. We sleeping on Facebook. <laughs> so another question that I wanted to ask was, how were you able to establish your brand at the age of ten years old to now? Uh, networking, networking, mm -hmm. and um, just going by looking at my idols as far as Kid Capri, Jazzy Jeff, watching what they did. You know, Jazzy Jeff had the Fresh Prince song at the mouth. Mm -hmm. Kid Capri, you know, he was on. Uh, Del Comic Jam, he started there and was just building his empire from there. Mm -hmm. uh, looked at guys like uh, DJ Dunn Cat, we interviewed, DJ mm -hmm. Drama, DJ Sense, and I had a relationship with all those cats besides Cat, and I really haven't spoken to him yet. But mm -hmm. you know, just going and saw how they took steps from Clark and Lana, you know, they had a team. For me, it's just probably a three man show. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm a DJ and I got my artists, and of course, I got one of my own boys that promote my brand. And mm -hmm. What we can, and we're here right now, is just trying to take it to the next level. So it's just basically just networking. That's and working hard and trying to do as much as you can, and just not doing hip hop mm -hmm. and being an all-around DJ. Other than just doing clubs, you want to do mixtapes, you want to do. Clubs.
clubs, you wanted to do weddings, you wanted to do travel with the artists, you wanted to do it all. You wanted to do radio, talk shows, as many interviews as you can. You wanted to do as uh, many photo, photos as you can. All that as you can, just try to stay ahead because it's so many DJs out in this market trying to do what you're doing. That is very true. Now you just stated about networking. How are you able to network and meet DJ Holiday and become part of the commissions team? Well, I met Holiday uh, back in college, my sophomore year of college. Mm -hmm. At the time, he was Gucci Man DJ. He had this big uh, Gucci Man's album release party. And I walked up to him, you know, handed him some big stage. And, you know, he basically just flung me out. And so I was like, All right, you, know, you gotta see me. Mm -hmm. you, know, you gotta see me one day, bro. Cause, you know, Most I'm, underrated. I'm here. I'm here. So when I finished college, I was able to you know, move around more. Mm -hmm. So I went um, to a record pool that uh, P. Brown did. And uh, I want to say the president, J-Rock, he was there. And J-Rock was like, yeah, man, come up here and sit with us. And he was like, who you with? I said, by myself. I had a book bag full of CDs and business cards. Mm -hmm. And I just sat right there and me and J-Rock just chopped up. And he was like, you need to come on up into the commission. You know, we getting ready to make things happen. And I was like, cool, I'll be in touch. So, you know, I want to say about six months ago, about, you know, J Rock followed me on my Instagram, started following me on Twitter. And they just started watching and liking and started, you know, seeing what I was doing. And then KE gave me a call one day and said, hey, bro, you can do a part of the commission. You know, Holiday will be in contact. Holiday went in, he didn't contact me at all. I can't say that. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say about two months ago, about, and uh, at the time, J Rock told me to come down to the streets now for five. Sit down with Holiday, we talk. I told him what I expected. I told him I just don't want a bunch of tags to put on mixtapes because, you know, I got my own thing. Mm -hmm. I want to know what the commission going to do for a new era because if I'm out pushing your brand, I expect for it to work for both ways. Mm -hmm. I want I wanted to just focus on Holiday. I don't need to focus on the era. So we got to understand, you know, it's, it is what it is, but, mm -hmm. you know, it happens. Mm -hmm. So I'm you know, with the commission, you know, I do what I can for it. But, I'm here not representing me and mm -hmm. big catalog. That's what I'm pushing. That's what I've been pushing. Mm -hmm. I use the commission for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. Now, you how did DJ Drama, as someone you look up to, how are you able to be a part of the commission but not be a part of the academy? Well, I reached out to him and I went to him about working with him, not just actually working with his brand. And, you know, there wasn't any, okay, let's make it happen. So I reached out to Sense, and um, you know, Sense gave me his number. And, you know, I tried to link up with him a few times, and he was always busy. But I did my research more, and you know, it, it, it's, it's two sets of brands: it's the affiliates and the academy. Mm -hmm. And I had the chance to actually work with a lot of dark men who actually owns the affiliates now. Mm -hmm. And that's why they have two separate brands because he owns that brand, and then you have that other brand right there that belongs to Drama, Sense, and Canon. And so, so just working with the affiliates. And you know, not getting what I wanted to get from them, I was able to make my choice easier. Mm -hmm. So that's why I made the choice to the commission because, at the, well, as of now, the commission is known. They're still building, uh -huh. they're in the clubs, they got radio, and when I mention the name, people know about it. Yeah. And of course, Holiday is a big name as, known, as itself, and that's like, mm -hmm. the, that's like the face of the commission, like DJ Scream is the face of the hood. Mm -hmm. And so the affiliates don't really have a face anymore. The academy is drama, and drama is the face of that whole brand. So it's just like the, the brand we built all over again. Mm -hmm. So my choice was very simple. So I went where we actually came to me who wanted to work with me first. And the commission was the, the one that actually came and wanted to work with me first. As being a DJ, how important is it to be humble, especially when you have different opportunities come your way, different artists of all mediums come your way? How important is it to stay humble and focus on your passion and not allow money to take over? It's, it's really important because you have so many DJs who may look up to you. And, you know, God gives us a gift to actually give back. Mm -hmm. So anybody who comes up to me and says, hey, can you teach me? Or, hey, can we do a big stay together? You know, I'm always willing to work because mm -hmm. you never know if you work with this person, what type of position they'll be in years down the line. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to embrace the young folks, even embrace the people who've been doing it longer than you. Because the more you remain humble, the more stuff will come to you. Mm -hmm. And like I said, relationships play a part in being humble too. So network, humble, and keep your relationship tight. Mm -hmm. 
So what words of wisdom would you give students, or not even students, individuals who are interested or passionate about being a DJ, what could you possibly say to them so that they are focused and remember that humble is being the most important key when you're trying to rise in this, I want to say, this profession? Phoenix uh, College, mm -hmm. go to college, get you a degree. It's, it's, it's a stressful job. Mm -hmm. You're not guaranteed your night the next day. You're not guaranteed your big step every day. You're not guaranteed a radio, a radio spot. If you do decide to pursue it, have God, but well, always have God in life. But at the end of the day, um, just network, pray, claim it, um, and try to work with up and coming DJs. Don't try to just go to the big DJ. Mm -hmm. Start with the DJs who are on the same path with you because you never know that y'all might form something that helps all y'all out. Mm -hmm. And always be punctual on time, always be different. Never try to be another DJ. If you don't scratch, don't scratch. If you know how to blend, blend. If you don't talk on a mixtape, don't talk on a mixtape. Mm -hmm. Be original. Find your line and find what, what you're good at. Mm -hmm. And that's what helped me out. You know, I always, you know, even when I listen to the drama, the holidays, I do what fits me. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm in the position I am now because I've been doing it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Long time. And I pray four or five times a week. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about me, when I pray, something always happens. And I get some out of it. Mm -hmm. So just keep your relationship tight and give back. That's the best advice. Give back and work hard. In that career profession and working hard, how important is it to also stay disciplined? Because I know it's very difficult. You have women throwing your way just because they see you DJing at a club and you in VIP and they think they can get their friends in yeah. and a bottle for free with free That's wristbands. Exactly. How important is that to stay disciplined? It's it's important, but you know, like I said, I, I did five years of undergrad. Mm -hmm. Thank God I finished. Um, I really didn't pop until I finished college. Mm -hmm. So when I got out of college, I got I got a chance to experience that that DJ lifestyle. But you know, like I said, I stayed at home with my folks for like four years before I actually moved out. And you know, each week I would bring in what I was making and just put something to the side. Mm -hmm. I got a beautiful you know what I say, I got a house now, so this all came from DJ. Congratulations. It all came from DJ and that took ooh, that took it took five years to happen, so you just gotta be, gotta be dedicated to it. Don't go out and blow your money on J's. Mm -hmm. If you know you need equipment, buy equipment. If you know you need to be here and it costs this amount of money to be here, put that to the side and be there. If you know you gotta put money into your brand, from flyers to websites to social media to t-shirts to business cards, do it because when people see you out there branding yourself and they see your material around it, they're like, right, Serious, mm -hmm. you know, like a visual is more powerful than somebody just sitting there just saying it. Mm -hmm. People get a visual of what you're doing, you have your your you get the job mm -hmm. more, more quicker. Now you just stated you invested in so much into your brand. How important is it to invest in your brand while establishing like, okay, you have done this, that, and third for someone else. Now it's time to invest in yourself. How important is it to invest in your brand and do what's best for you? It's really important because at the end of the day, you, you're working to build up yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know, you, you help others, but at the meantime, you always want to focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, with the commission, you know, that's, that brand, from what I saw, is, is being built around DJ Holiday. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you hear the commission, you hear DJ Holiday. Mm -hmm. You know, but when you hear DJ New Era, you hear Fifty Cat Low. Mm -hmm. And that's my brand. You know, I want people to hear my name and know, okay, that's that Fifty Cat Low guy. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's that's always been my brand, and I always put that before any other brand because that's what I'm trying to build up right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I use the other brands to help build off of it, mm -hmm. and just say, okay, I'm affiliated and represented with those brands. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to keep putting money into yourself. Okay. And the last question is, where can we find you if we want to be lurking on Instagram or your Twitter, your Facebook, your MySpace? You can find me on Twitter at, at Real DJ Nuera. Find me on Instagram at DJ underscore new underscore here. Check my website out at fitcapo.com. Mm -hmm. I have an album out right now on iTunes called Built to Win, which features Sire Kid, B Dot, my artist BT on it. You know, it's been on iTunes for a while. You know, I'm the only DJ in Alabama to actually have an album put together actually on iTunes. Mm -hmm. And 
and I own every song on the album. And uh, you know, you can get at me too on, on that email at like N-E-W-E-R-A-B-I-C-C at gmail.com. Hit me up on my business number at 786 529 6399. Check me out every Tuesday, every Saturday at the Platinum of Birmingham. And also check me out on 957 Jams Live and Mix every Thursday at 10, every Saturday from 8 to 6 p.m. There you go. Thank you so much for tuning in to AYS TV. I'm Ayana Giselle. DJ Gray, check it out, man. Thank you.